Why wasn't Jeff Pilson a member of Lynch Mob? Hey guys, welcome back to the Bald Shredder channel. Today, I'm here to talk to you about some of my favorite musicians and some of my favorite bands. So yeah, we're gonna be talking about Jeff Pilson, George Lynch, Dokken, Lynch Mob, all that stuff. So just a real quick recap here, guys. I'm sure most of you know that after the Monsters of Rock tour in 1988, the band Dokken had a meeting with their management, record company guys and everything, and Don basically said, I can't play with those three guys anymore. And that was the end of Dokken. Jeff and Mick both said, we're going with George. So Don was left by himself. And we know what happened after that. Don formed a solo band, made the album Up From The Ashes, great album. George went on to make Lynch Mob, Wicked Sensation. But what about Jeff Pilson? Where was Jeff Pilson during this time and what was he doing? And more importantly, why wasn't he a member of Lynch Mob? Leading up to those events, guys, I kept reading in interviews that George and Jeff, they kept saying they were gonna do a solo album after Back for the Attack. It was gonna be Jeff and George, and Jeff was gonna do all the singing. And I was super excited for that. I couldn't wait to hear that. And they were even talking about how like on the next Dokken album, they want Jeff to sing on at least one song. And if you've read a lot of the interviews over the years, you know, I've seen Don say stuff about like, well, the bass player wanted to be the lead singer. And when you listen to some of those like unreleased demos of some of those Dokken songs, when George and Jeff were working on those songs together, it's Jeff is singing on them and he sounds incredible. So I just assumed that Jeff would be in this new band with George and Mick. Why wouldn't he? Well, that ended up not happening. Jeff was in LA. He formed his own band, uh, originally called Flesh and Blood, and then later changed the name to War and Peace. And they were playing club shows around LA. I got to see them a few times around 1989, 1990. And as a huge Dokken fan, I can't even tell you how exciting it was to like go to a small club and there's Jeff Pilson up there on stage just a few feet from me singing his songs. And they would do It's Not Love as the encore. And of course that was like, whoa, yeah! Now as far as I'm concerned, this is a question that has never really officially been answered by Jeff or George or any of the guys involved as to why Jeff was not in Lynch Mob. If they were talking about doing an album together, Jeff and George, uh, Jeff is singing on all the demos. They were writing partners. They seemed to get along well. There really didn't seem to be any reason why Jeff wasn't gonna be the singer in Lynch Mob. I've only seen like a few minor comments from Jeff over the years as to why that didn't happen. And it seems like he doesn't really want to give the full real story. I do remember back in the day when Lynch Mob first came out, and Jeff wasn't in it. And somebody asked him in an article or an interview, like, how come you're not in Lynch Mob? And he said something to the effect of like, well, George didn't call me. Six months went by and I never heard from George. So I just, well, I'll just go form my own band then. And I was like, what? So don't you have George's number also? Couldn't you have just picked up the phone and called him? And it just doesn't really make sense. I mean, you have managers, you obviously know each other's phone numbers, you would have been in touch. I mean, that just doesn't make sense. And then more recently, but still probably several years ago, I read in some interview, can't remember where, but it still sticks in my mind. Somebody asked again, like, how come you weren't in Lynch Mob? And Jeff said, because I wanted to be a lead singer. And that's sort of like saying like, well, I didn't want to be the bass player in Lynch Mob. I want to be a lead singer. And that's why he formed his own band, Flesh and Blood, and then War and Peace. And he was the lead singer. He wasn't even playing bass. He was playing rhythm guitar and singing. Okay, now guys, I'm gonna do a little speculating here. Again, I don't know the official story. And this is why I'm making this video because maybe one of you guys out there you do know the real story. You do know exactly what happened and why Jeff didn't end up as either the bass player or the singer in Lynch Bob. And if you know, if you've got any insight, you've got any info, please leave it in the comments because I would love to know and I'm sure a lot of people out there would also love to know. So the only thing that I can think is that there must have been some conversations with the record label, the people at Elektra Records. Remember, Elektra signed Lynch Mob, George Lynch, to a record deal. And I'm thinking they must have said, you know, Jeff is just not the right guy to be the lead singer. 
I mean, if you want him to be the bass player, that's cool. But we need somebody with a little more... I, I don't know. I don't know what they would have said. But I'm just thinking that either the record label or management must have put the brakes on Jeff Pilsen being the lead singer of Lynch Mob. And George was like, okay, well, I mean, if that's the only way I'm going to get a record out, I guess Jeff's not going to be the lead singer. And then Jeff went off and formed his own thing. And if that's not the reason then what would it be? What else could it be? It's not like those guys hated each other. They got along great. They were songwriting partners. And since then, in recent years, they've done a ton of stuff together. The End Machine, LP, TNN, among other things. So I really just can't see any other reason why Jeff Pilsen wasn't the lead singer in Lynch Mob other than the people at the record label just said no. Or maybe they thought like, Three out of four from Dokken? That's too much like Dokken. We need to differentiate this, kind of, at least, as much as possible. You got George, you got Mick. That's two out of four. But three out of four, it was going to be too much like Dokken? Why would they say that? I don't know. Dokken was a successful band, but who knows? If I ever have the chance to interview Jeff Pilsen, which will probably never happen, but if I did, that's literally going to be my first question. Why weren't you in Lynch Mob? Let's hear the real story, please. It's been a long time. You can tell us. Come on. What, what, what went down? I'd also like to say, guys, that as much as I love that first Lynch Mob album, Wicked Sensation, it's incredible. I mean, George was at his peak when he did Back for the Attack and then Wicked Sensation. There's no better like George Lynch than those two albums as far as I'm concerned. So as much as I love it, I can't help but wonder, like, in an alternate universe, if Jeff had stayed in the band with George and he had been the lead singer and they had done a record with Jeff instead of Oni Logan, how that would have turned out, what that would have sounded like, it would have been different because I do remember George saying in an interview that they had a bunch of songs written. I, I guess it was just him and Mick. They had songs written and when Oni came in, they scrapped all those songs and started over because they said all the, the stuff that they had been working on it sounded a lot like Dokken. It was like the stuff that he had been doing. But then when o Oni came in with a kind of a different vibe, different style of voice, that it just inspired them to write different kinds of songs. But anyway, in this alternate universe, man, I would have loved to hear that album. I can't but wonder like, if it would have sounded like Back for the Attack Part 2, which for me would have been totally killer because that's my favorite Dokken album. But we'll never know because that didn't happen and all we can do is like dream and speculate. Okay guys, so what do you think about that whole thing? Do you have any information? Do you ever remember reading anything in interviews? Did you ever talk to somebody? Please let me know in the comments. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>